Atomic orbitals. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle states that it is impossible to know the precise location of an electron. Atomic orbitals represent a region of space where there is a 95% probability of finding an electron. The Pauli exclusion principle states that no more than two electrons can occupy an atomic orbital and they must have opposite spins. S orbitals. S orbitals are spherical, that means they're round, and can hold a maximum of two electrons. Here's a diagram of a 1s orbital. It represents the region of space where there's a 95% chance of finding an electron. This is a 2s orbital here. It's further away from the nucleus than the 1s orbital, which is here. And this is a 3s orbital, the outer part here. And it, as you can see, it's further away from the 2s, from the nucleus, which is further away from the 1s, which is closest to the nucleus. These nodes, these dotted lines here, these represent regions where there's a 0% chance of finding an electron. P orbitals. P orbitals are dumbbell shaped. The P sublevel can hold a maximum of six electrons in three P orbitals. So here are the dumbbell shaped P orbitals. We have 2Px, 2Py and 2Pz. The x, y, and z refer to the axis along which the orbital lies. So the 2px orbital lies along the x axis, the 2py orbital lies on the y axis, and the 2pz orbital lies on the z axis. The x, y, and z orbitals are perpendicular to each other. Each p orbital can hold two electrons, and there's three p orbitals so the p sublevel can hold a maximum of six electrons d orbitals the d sublevel can hold a maximum of 10 electrons in 5 d orbitals here are the shapes of the 5 d orbitals these shapes are pretty complicated so you don't have to worry too much about the shapes what you do need to know is that each orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons and there's five orbitals, five d orbitals, so the maximum number of electrons in the d sublevel is 10.